sitting at home looking for my video games. Guess you call us video bros. Um, welcome back, guys. He only is the conductor. I wouldn't be so happy to get an autograph from a conductor. No, that was the train engineer. The conductor is the one oh, with the, the red. The po train engineer, I mean. The conductor is like one with the red polka dots we were talking to before about the yummy threat. Right. Okay, so now we got to go back to the uh, bomb family because Bub here wants an autograph. So you bring me the thing I want most? Autograph. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. He gave me a shine sprite. Thank you. Nice. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. And now the scenery changed again, because it's nighttime now. Oh my god, you know what you do? Go back. What? Go back into the bomb house. Into the, into the bomb room. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna replace the I'm just gonna like I'm gonna sit here for like a couple of minutes, whatever long however long it is, and just play the audio from from you can't know Joe buy me things. Oh god. <laughs> that's all they're arguing about right now. Oh, that's such a brilliant idea. How long should I sit here for? I don't know how long the video is though, so sit here for like a minute and then you cut it out and then like well, I can look it up real quick to see how long it is. Let me see. A minute and five seconds. Okay. Hey, kid. Hi. Hi. How's the Ugg? You're Ugg. You're Ugg. You're the Uggo. I said it first. You're the Uggo Supremo. Your nose is really big and is shaped like a stupid baby. Yeah, well, your breasts don't exist because you're a boy. Your eyes are one eye. Yeah, well, you have stupid four eyes. You have a chip in all of your tooth. You don't have a tooth with a chip and you're jealous. Your nail is, like, deformed because you poured acid on it. Your dick is really hard because you're a bee. Buy me things! No! Why? Buy yourself things! I'm poor! You wanna buy video games and weed. No. Yeah. I want jewelry. You don't like jewelry. But I'm a girl. No, you're not. Uh... Oh, kid, I didn't mean to- Buy me things! You're the baby. You're uh... always telling me to buy you baby diapers and pacifiers. I've never asked for a diaper. Yeah. Yeah! We're good. Alright. So I'm gonna leave the room. And now, we gotta talk to the train conductor. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me! I just remembered something suspicious! I found myself one blank of chart when I was handing them out to passengers! I gave last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's fixing! I have exact blank account! It means someone came on board without a ticket! That stowaway just might be a suspect, Mr. Mario! Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight! If you can look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I thank you! Call me Blanket P.I. Magnum P.I. <laughs> Honestly, great, thanks! Well, I have to keep watching, but I'll be waiting for the good news! So as you saw in the window in the bombs family ca uh, train cart, it is nighttime now, as you can see, looking out the windows. Yep. Looks beautiful. You so totally banged that chubby guy in Rick of Time! I was way impressed! Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills! Can you help me? Sure, why Really? Not? Well, okay! So I lost these Shelly rings that my ex-boyfriend gave me! And they're like, all full of memories and stuff, I really need them back! Can you maybe look for them or something? Please? So, yeah. we gotta find a blanket and we gotta find some earrings. Yup. Um... Also, so we can go back to the fat guy here. The fat guy took the blanket, probably. Oh wait, he's so fat that he doesn't need it. <laughs> he just stands there, he doesn't sleep. He just stands while we're all sleeping. He's like, give me food now, 
All I care about is food. Nom nom nom. I heard some noises in the room next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that room for me? Sure. It's in this room. No one's in here, so. Oh. Yoshi, get off there. Thank you. Star piece. No one's in there, so. Go back to him and make him feel like an idiot. What? But I know there's not someone in there! I bet they just saw you and hit first. Yeah, I'm sure. That's it. So now we need Vivian. Technically, he was right. What? There was someone in there. Mm. We're in there right now. So we hid. You saw that, right? Whoa! It's it's a it's a toad ghost. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket. Well, yes, the conductor left. Didn't leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky thread. No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? God damn it, I hate these things. Fine. All I need is your life! No, just kidding. <laughs> Actually... I passed away in this cabin many years ago! But I think my luggage is, is still in the baggage car here! Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days! And my fear that someone would find it and read it has given me time to this world! I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is! And don't you even dare read my diary! Cause if you do! Ho 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 ho! A horrible fate awaits you! We should read it. Well, we will. In a bit. You actually can, but supposedly if you read it three times in a row, it, like, corrupts your save file. I've never actually done it three times in a row, so I can't tell you for sure if that's true or not. I don't believe that. I remember seeing it on GameWinners.com years ago. Did that. you find it? I'm gonna look that up, though. What? A ghost? Eek! He, he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from a baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Well, that's kind of strange to believe us if we told them what really happened. It's like, well, the real story, you wouldn't really believe it. You got a ragged diary, the diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. Oh, that's what happens. What? Because if you read the ghost diary, because there's a video right here, it says you get a game over. Yeah, I know. Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would! Now, can I leave my post? Please return the diary while I stay here! Though I would like to see what's written in it! Yeah, I know that. I've done it, but I have not done it three times in a row, though. So wait, how do you do it three times in a row? What, do you just get a game over three times? Yeah. Never done it three times in a row, though, so I can't tell you if that's true. I don't believe- if, I don't believe it would. That, that that's- make no sense whether that, that it would. Alright, so... No. No. Aha. Alright. Ragged uh, Diary. Okay, wait, hold on. Here we go. It- it warns you each time to, like, not read it. Well, I have the Wikipedia up for the, for the Ragged Diary. I want to see what it says for a second. Oh, sure. What the heck. You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Or sure, what the heck. 
I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad, you understand me? Yeah, there's nothing here that said- there's nothing on the Wikipedia page for the Ragged Diary that says you're gonna get a game over. Oh sure, what the heck. Month X, Day X, Cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... Dun dun dun... YOU LOCKED! EVEN THOUGH I TOLD YOU NOT TO! NOW SEE WHAT HAPPENS! Whoa! I'm dead. I'm dead. So, I'll cut the part out of involving me loading the screen back up, just so we're back right here afterwards when I edit the video. No, it's fine, because you have to people have to see what the hell happened. No, I mean I'll cut out this part of me loading the file back up. I'm not gonna cut out the game over screen. Did you find my diary? Nope. Yes, this is my diary! Very well! Your blanket is right here! The conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend! <laughs> if you're ready, you might be a spirit like me right now! But now I can go peacefully on from this world! Thank you so much! You will probably never meet me again in this world! Fare thee well! Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great, maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> How long is the video? Like 27 minutes now. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, then you know what? We should just save it. Give the blanket back and then save it. Yeah. Because half the video was me being obnoxious. Because of reading things in Toad's voice. So Mr. Mario, how did it go? Oh, thank you so much! Now I'll be comfortable tonight! Of course I am, and Ziggy Mischief Maker is still at large! Oh, hey, before I forget... This just the gesture of my thanks. It's getting away, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I'm the conductor of the Excess Express. Yeah, so I'm probably going to cut the video into a 20-minute video and a 10-minute video. Alright. I'll probably, probably just do that. Wait, do we, do we have to find the shell the shell earrings first? We won't for a while, actually. We weren't going to be able to find them for a while. Okay. There's someone else that needs our help, too. But I am not going to tell you who. Remember her from the Glitz Pit? Yes. Toodles? Specimen of a man, you! You're marvelous, dear! You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, the very well done! What do I feel like her voice should be Joan Rivers? Probably. You're so ruggedly smart! Perhaps you can help me with something as well! I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely! Now listen well! I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train! Can you please hasten the search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? I think in her drawer is just like a bunch of glamour magazines, if I remember correctly. I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, um, let's see what he says. I think I need a midnight snack! Is that dining car still open? That bastard. What I didn't show you before, and I should have, is if you go back to his room right after you see Ghost Toad and talk to him, he he freaks out when you tell him there's a ghost next door, and then he like calls you a liar and says, "There's no such thing as ghosts, right? Right? Please tell me I'm right." 
Alright, I'm saving. Alright. Alright, so now we're gonna end it, and I'll make one video like 20 minutes, and another one 10 minutes. Yeah, sure. Ask. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Um... Or I'll probably just make them each 15. I don't know, I'll see what happens. So we'll see you in the next obnoxious episode of Thousand Year Door, people. Peace out! Hey guys, if you like what you saw in that video, please check out our latest series, To the Left. I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you want more hilarious videos, please check out our other series down below. I'm sure you'll enjoy that as well. And last but not least, Please hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can provide. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.